Hello, my name is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review for Colin Thompson's, um, I believe this is translated something like Fantastic Coloring Book, um, Fantastic Book, so something along those lines. Um, I got this from uh, the Book Depository uh, online. I ordered it, and Book Depository is a great place to go because they have free shipping worldwide, no matter how small your order or how large. Um, I really like that. Um, usually you can find things on Amazon a bit cheaper. Um, however, if you can't find it on Amazon, usually Book Depository has it. So I got this on there for around $10, I believe. This is a pretty neat coloring book. I wanted to get this online as quickly as possible um, because it is so neat and it's so different. Um, this is one from Germany. I believe it's a, a German coloring book. Um, and you see the cover, um, the way it's done in kind of a grayscale. The inside is done the same way. And this is one of those coloring books where I look at and I think, okay, this is a great cover. And I know there's going to be like one page in there that has this cover page inside, you know, um, that you can color. And I hope that the rest of the book is going to be as nice. And it did not let me down. This is a great coloring book. There are almost every single page in here is fantastic. Um, I really like it. So, um, this is one produced by Ravensburger. Um, if you don't know, they do a lot of puzzles. Um, and a lot of, like, um, learning educational games kinds of things. And this was a book... Um, that Colin Thompson did, and they transformed it into the coloring book. So that's kind of cool. Dimensions of this book are almost eight and a half by eleven and a half. Um, so it's more like eight and a fourth by eleven and a fourth um, inches. So this is the front. Here is the back. I have no idea what this says. If you know how to read um, in German, um, feel free to pause it here and read it. Um, if you do know how to read this, leave me a comment below if you can and just kind of tell me what it says. Um, that would be great. Um, I tried to use Google Translate on it. It did not work. It came up with a bunch of words that didn't make sense. So uh, here is the spine. And the thickness of the book is quite thick. So I was impressed with that. I was expecting a really thin book. And um, it's very thick. So I'm glad about that. So as you flip through the book, um, this is the first page you come through, come to, and it is done much like the cover is done. Um, this side of the page is the cover. This side of the page is not on the cover. So this is the other half. So that's a pretty cool thing. I'm going to try and open this spine up a bit more. The spine is glue-bound. I'm not a fan of glue-bound books just because they're hard to open. At least with coloring books, I'm not that big of a fan. I really like them when they are uh, sewn. Then you can glue them down, but, you know, just using the glue makes it really hard to open and get that crack in here. So a lot of these... Um, pages reminded me of like MC Usher kind of stuff, especially with the stairs on this page. Um, there's a lot of hidden things in this book. Like you look at this and you see, oh my gosh, it's a bunch of stairs. That's pretty cool. But if you look closely, you'll see like right here, there's like a little goblin looking thing inside of a hat and like a little goblin looking thing reading a book. Like there's just a lot of neat little details. This looks almost some kind of hooded creature walking down the stairs, you know, with this boat water selling into this bucket. It's it's really neat. The details in here are really cool. I know that Amazon has this book as well. Um, however, the only seller I could find with this... Um, wanted you to pay shipping as well. So it wasn't done by the Amazon Prime. So it was 
it was less expensive to go to Book Depository to buy it than to buy it on Amazon and then pay for shipping too. Um, so that's why I went to Book Depository for this. And I have to say the page quality in this book, listen to this. That is really nice paper for a coloring book. Um, pages are not perforated, but the quality of the page is really nice and would work for just about any medium except for alcohol markers. Um, I don't recommend that in this book um, just because you are going to run the page behind and as you can see, there's just a lot of neat artwork in this book, and I would hate for you to run the page behind. But um, watercolor, gel pens, colored pencils, um, the Faber-Castell uh, gelatos would work just fine. Um, if you have the Neocolor 2s from Karen Dosh, those will work. Even the Neocolor 1s would work as well. Uh, pastels, oil, and chalk would work in this book really good. The page is very smooth, so the laydown of colored pencil, or anything for that matter, is going to be smooth as well. It's not going to have little rough ridges on it or anything. It's going to be pretty cool. I have not tried any mediums in this book so far. Um, I hope to in the next few days. Um... I have some things going on here at my house for the next few days, so um, I probably won't get to it till, if you watch this today, um, I probably won't get to um, coloring it till sometime next week. Um, but as soon as I do, I will post a video about it. And I'm kind of staying on these pages a little longer because there is so much detail in the page. I want to be sure that you can see um, what's going on here. Now, a lot of the coloring books I have have a lot of detail, but don't give you enough room to color in that detail. Um, this book is not like that. The page size is such that you will have plenty of room to color in. You'll have plenty of room for the creativity within that small space. Um, it's just an all-around great book. I know this book was originally a story, a story book. Um, based, the coloring book is based off of that story. I have no idea what the real story is, and I'm sure that it follows along a really cool story. Um, if you kind of know the plot or the gist of the story that it's from, if you could leave me a comment below and just kind of let me know what it's about, um, that would be really cool of you. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe down here and like my video over there. And that is the end. Um, one thing it does not have is a test page. Um, I'm not fond of books without test pages. Um, just because you, you do need to test your medium somewhere. And without that test page, it's really difficult. So what I will probably use in this book is um, uh, this front page. Um, even then, I'm going to have to be careful not to use the alcohol markers or even water-based markers um, unless I test it up in a corner or something because there is no other page here. And it will bleed onto um, this side if I'm not careful. So I'm um, going to test it out up here in the front. See how that goes. I mentioned puzzles earlier before um, with the Ravensburger um, brand. Um, here are puzzles based on this particular book. I have a couple of these puzzles, not these particular ones, but from Ravensburger. And they are great, 
great puzzles. So I am a fan of this company. I'm a fan of this book. I hope you've enjoyed this review as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, happy coloring.